Sun, JD in the Sump Sea. Hi, I'm D. Um, yeah, so today we're going to be painting up some Goliath uh, bikers. Um, really sporting here with the airbrush. Uh, these are my new uh, Steino Res primer kit that I ordered. Um, really, really good stuff. Holy cow, am I excited. Uh, Go straight into the airbrush. Uh, no thinning required. Of course, you can thin it if you'd like. Um, really good deal. You know, 30 bucks, six four, four ounce bottles of uh, colored primers. Um, going on smooth right here. Oh, so velvety. Yeah, you get an ivory, a brown, a green, a white, a black, and. Oh, there's one other color. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Um, a uh, ivory. Yeah. Um, so anyways, usually I use inks to do this step, but I'm, uh, like I said, testing out the Steino Res uh, white over black. I used the uh, brown and the ivory on the base to make this a desert look, or at least to start it out. Um, yeah, as... Well, as you probably guessed, I, you know, do a lot of terrain nowadays. Um, you know, I painted five major war uh, 40K armies, um, including orcs and tyranids um, in my lifetime. Uh, I don't have any idea how many models I've painted. <laughs> I'm fairly sure I lost count about 15 years ago. Um, but, uh, yeah, so anyways, um, okay, so now we're going to uh, go with the inks right away. We're going to use uh, burnt raw, or uh, sorry, burnt umber, raw umber, and burnt sienna um, to get the base metallics down. Um, I am going to go over this with metallic paint later. Um, but yeah, I've switched airbrushes here a little bit so I can get a little bit more targeting. Um, we're also going to get the red on the, uh, shoulder pads because these are a splinter gang, the red ass monkeys, my splinter gang of the crazy Ivans. Uh, so this is technically the third splinter gang. Um, yeah, basically all these guys here, um, managed to get in the gang. Well, except for the, uh, the, uh. The Goliath vehicles, um, those will be new. But everybody else in the gang um, was part of the gang, but never got a chance to really play in the last campaign that we played with. Um, I just, there's 15 in that gang, and that's just too many Goliaths to get, you know, to play with, especially as you get further in the campaign. You know, you don't, don't want to throw too much fodder out there. But, um, yeah, here we go. This is where this is where that uh, that high end airbrush comes into play. Um, and of course, you know, I'm an idiot, so I bought two of these. Um, yeah, one for inks and one for uh, well, I don't know what the other one's for. I haven't <laughs> I haven't instituted it into the the uh, painting plan at this point. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a lot more rust and dust on this, these guys. Um, now, one of the things that's coming up here is I left the skin alone at this point. Um, I wanted to look at it for a little while because um, I didn't know if I want these guys to be the pale Goliaths. All right, so here we go. A little spinny job here. Get to take a look at them. Um, and yes, basically, this is kind of how everything looks, you know, after I get done with the first steps. Um, at this point, I make a decision as to which way I'm going to go. Um, I've painted so many models over the years that I have lost the wanting to have a plan for them. So I just kind of just pick different techniques that I think will be neat. So on these, we're, we're going to do some oil work. Um, kind of copying the James Wapple um, 
style. Um, if you notice the one in the upper uh, right corner there, I wiped him right away. Uh, that didn't kind of worked. I didn't really like it. So uh, I figured I'd do the rest of these and of course change the camera angle so that you can actually see what I'm doing and not my big blue hand um, that's full of oil paint. Uh, but yeah, basically we're using a black and a pair of umbers. Uh, no, no. One's, one's a, a uh, uh, raw umber and the other one's a Van Dyke brown. Um, and we're just going to mix them in here and get everything kind of started. Um, mainly the blacks are on all the areas that I want to be metallic. Um, and then the browns are going to be on the, the skin and, you know, the base. So then we're taking the old sponge here and we're, we're going to wipe her off. And again, I really have a wonderful way of filming my blue glove. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Um, so these guys were um, Goliaths uh, that I modified to go onto Orc bikes. Um, the, uh, the Speed Freaks kit that came out several, several, six, seven years ago uh, when it came out, um, of course, the one thing that was in that kit was the big piles of trash that you can now get in the MechBoy Workshop kit. But at the time frame, the only way that you could get those big piles of trash uh, was with that Speed Freak kit, uh, Speed Freaks kit. And of course, you know, I'm in, I'm, I'm crazy, so I bought four. Um, Really glad I did too, because uh, here I had a whole bunch of bikes, and here we are in the ash waste. We're getting ready for uh, my 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 group's uh, second annual ash waste weekend in November here, and I just wanted to get ahead of ahead of time here. Um, the wall builds done now, at least for the time being. Um, I am going to be adding more to that, I think. But uh, I have two sump boards I have to build. Okay, so now uh, because the sponge was kind of working and not working, I was getting what I wanted. And I think this has to do with the way I primed it with the Stino Res primer instead of the inks. So I was a little bit, um, a little bit startled by the highest highlights, what I'm dealing with right here and the lowest parts. Um, which really, really, really stayed dark, um, which is great. You know, that's what I wanted to do. Sometimes I'll filter a dark color in underneath there from an upwards, an upwards uh, angle uh, ink. On these, I chose not to. I chose to do this a little bit more. And basically, it's just Q-tips with uh, spirits on it. And I'm uh, just basically shaping. Um, you're taking paint off and you're pushing it, you know, in a feathering motion. Um, you can use a brush to do this too, if you wanted to. Um, the Q-tip is a heck of a lot faster and easier. And of course I busted off an arm on guys. So, um, so anyways, getting back into, you know, just letting it rip here. Um, I decided to pull out some acrylics the next day. Yes, this all dried in one day. Um, she was perfectly fine. I didn't put it under any heat or anything like that. There wasn't a really bad smell or anything, but um, happened to be watching a Squidmar episode earlier in the day and he was using his wet palette. And I went, oh wow, it's been a while since I used mine. And you know, you, uh, you get out of practice real quick. So yeah, we're, we're highlighting the skins, the reds and yeah, the uh, green mohawk. All right, so then, um, you know, I decided, hey, let's let's get the weathering powders in. Really haven't used the weathering powders on models, um, mostly on terrain. So I figured, you know what, I'll try it. So what we got is a uh, AK Interactive Rust, and then we have the old Forge World actual gray ash. Um, and we're going to be popping that on these guys here. Boy, I'm 
Sorry, I'm talking so fast, you guys. <laughs> I really cut this video down to kind of make it short and sweet. Um, so yeah, after we get that, we spray it down with water for the fixation of the powders. Uh, put the fan on that to dry that out for about a half hour. Then we've got a couple of tufts of grass. Yeah, base your model up. And then here we go, black rim. Um, pretty short. Pretty sweet, uh, not really a whole lot of menial work to this. Um, yeah, I've been doing this so long now, I, I, I don't like doing things the same way twice. On even squads of models, I just, I just don't. I painted so many orcs and tyranids and Chaos Space Marines and regular Space Marines um, over the years. I just, I hate going the same. So anyways, uh, yeah, here they are. The uh, Red Ass Monkeys Ash Waste Division. Um, kept the skin very pale. Really liked the way that looks too. Uh, the Goliaths really pop out. Could have done a little bit more work on the detailing. Eh, don't really think it's necessary. Um, Necromunda models die. That's what they do. So, and none of these are going into any painting competition or anything. So, really like the way this all turned out, though. Um, you know, you guys, um, we've been starting to grow here a little bit. Um, thank you so much again. And uh, we're going to be doing some more sump stuff coming up next video. Have a good night.